What is up, you two? Welcome to the Brandon Kicks. I'm your host, King Nation. And today, to this naive, we got a video for y'all dropping, man. Y'all synced the title, y'all synced the thumbnail, y'all synced the intro, y'all seeing the intro. I don't know why I always say that, but I've been saying that, so I'm gonna keep saying it. But I got the top five apps for y'all, man. It's gonna help y'all find shoes, find steals, find shoes that y'all been looking for for years, find shoes that you couldn't get on a release that was yesterday, find shoes that you just, you just won't, man. It's the top five sneaker apps, so let's get into it. If you ain't gonna right. blow now, listen, don't post listen. a stack if look, you only got look. both. Listen. One, two, three, cheese. Take a picture on one night stand with your bitch and you kissed her. Tragic. I don't give a fuck if she uh. bad. You can have it. Ran through that bitch when he times like a classic. She back to back on the stick. Just all right, y'all, starting off with the first app, and this is gonna surprise a lot of y'all. It's not gonna surprise me, though, because it's like, you know what I'm saying? I take, take big nails every day, so this app, this things, it's number five, can't go. It could go above, but we just gonna start off with number five. It is the Nike Sneakers app. Y'all all know what it is. If y'all don't, download it, man. So anytime there's a new Jordan release or a Nike release, that is pretty much, it's, unless it's like stupid limited. If it's not, unless it's like stupid, Stupid limited, for example, I think like the, I don't ever know. Most, I think everything Nike and Jordan brand will end up on a sneakers app, unless it's just like exclusive to just something like exclusive to Chicago or something like, or exclusive to Texas or something, something like that. Usually everything will be on sneakers app. You go in there, every new release, it'll be on there every Saturday, every Monday to show you the date. Sometimes it's two weeks before. Sometimes they throw it up on the sneakers app the day before, and you find out the day before that it's going to be on the sneakers app. Sometimes it's three days before. So check your sneakers app, man. Go look in there. That's a good way to keep track of what shoes are coming out, how much the shoes cost. The shipping is usually, I think, what is five dollars for the regular, ten dollars for the two day, and fifteen for the two day or two, something like that, man. Just get the the sneakers app. New shoes, new releases, Jordans, Jordan ones, twos, threes, however many release is usually on sneakers app when it's brand new. If you want to buy a brand new shoe or something that's just in line in store, you don't want to go to the store to go order it, go get sneakers app, move on to the next thing. All right, I'm sorry if that was awkward. I don't know what I'm, you know what I'm saying. It's getting a little hot in here. Lights is hot, got a hoodie on, but we all good. The next app, man, is Offer Up. Now, I know some of you like, Offer Up, not starting a sneakers app. Shut up, shut up. Listen, listen. It's a sneaker app, all right? You can go in there, you can go talk directly to the buyer. That's one of the benefits. You go talk directly to the buyer. You go to talk him down the price. You go talk directly to the person who has the shoe. If I want to sell this shoe right here, the bread for, I could go in there, I could post it, say my price. People could contact me saying, hey man, you asking for $400 for these, man? Yeah, I'll give you 250 And I could be like, nah, I want 400 for them. You go in there, talk directly to the person. You can see the pictures. Only thing about that, the only downfall I say about that is that they're not always guaranteed authentic. It's not from Nike, so it's not from Gold or StockX, so they don't have an authentication process. So you could get some fakes, but just, just keep your eyes out. You know what I'm saying, watch out what you're doing. Go in there, go search up some shoes. You can search, you could buy collections, you could buy old shoes, you could buy your, your own grills. Basically, like if something like just came like a couple days ago, it's gonna be a lot of prices, a lot of different variations of sizes, all on offer up. I recommend checking it out. Let's get on to number three. All right, y'all. All right, y'all. I don't even know if I was in the camera that time, but all right, y'all. Number three is an app called Grail. Now, if you guys wear streetwear, jackets, coats, in shoes, of course, it's all about sneakers. But I don't want to put y'all in the game to other things too, y'all. So something like some something, something like this, you feel me? Y'all wanted to go, y'all, let's say y'all see me in this jacket, right? Y'all synced me in this jacket. Y'all like, man, that jacket, that jacket King Nation had on was fire. And y'all want to go find this jacket? A good app to have is Grail. You can go in there, search up Mace, Mason Nor, search up your size. You most likely can find other people selling the shoe just like you would find people selling like, I mean, selling the product, just like you find people selling shoes. But besides that, obviously they, they, they sell shoes on there. There's no authentication process on there. So there is that just like offer up, but you could buy, you could find variations of sizes. They do have a filter where you can, where you can filter your size. Unlike offer up, you can filter your size. You can filter the, the brand you want. If you want Jordans, if you want Nikes, Adidas, they have it all on there. They have variations of prices. And again, you could talk directly to the buyer. You could talk them to convince you to get next day shipping. You could talk them down the price. You could talk them down to tell you, you could tell them, meet me on Instagram, let's do a trade. All types of stuff that is, it could go into different, just anything from there being a talk to the buyer. 
And to be honest, it's pretty dope. You get to pay through PayPal, so that way if you if they don't give you the shoe and you say it's fake, so I think you always get your money back. Same thing with offer up to you, you get your money back too. It's 100% money back guarantee. So you're not gonna be getting, even if you did get ripped off, you can go get your dolo back. If you request a refund, you're going to get your money back. I requested a refund, uh, I got a refund and I got my money back. So trust me on this one. Number three is grill. Go check it out for streetwear. Or you could get numerous amounts of things there. Just check, 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 check. Check out the app. Number two, Deuce. All right, number two, y'all. This is gonna surprise a lot of y'all. This might even piss some of y'all off because some of y'all own the bandwagon, some of y'all own the team. Team Stock X, man. Stock X is obviously one of the best sneaker apps out there, but it's number two on my list, man. Reason being because they're having some weird stuff going on. People's accounts are getting hacked and people are getting shoes brought on their account using their cars that they're not purchasing. Uh, so, so we're not gonna talk about that, but basically on stock x it's the same thing as goat but it's only dead stock or very near dead stock shoes you can't buy used shoes on there you can't talk directly to the buyer but let's say i got this shoe which is not dead stock but i say i got a dead stock i want to sell it you go in there post it up on uh stock x whatever price and whenever a bidder like a bid that they want somebody want to say i want to pay 250 for it and your price is 250 they meet in the middle your shoe will sell they they send you the automatic shipping label which is another good thing you have to pay for the shipping label you put your shoes in the box ship them off to stock x they authenticate it they send them off to the person so there's that you get an authentic shoe guaranteed you get money back guaranteed if your shoe's not authentic because they would just give you money back because they're not gonna send you a fake shoe and you get shoes what, what what more can i say you get to sell shoes buy shoes and we're all happy just get on the number one Number Wiznai Un. It's a big old fly on my wall. We're gonna we ain't gonna mind that. Number one is GOAT, man. I am team GOAT. About a good 70% of that collection back there is from GOAT. Only thing that's not really from GOAT is a lot of my ones. A lot of my ones I got brand new this year, like the obsidians, the turbo greens, the pine greens, court purple, all those I got from the store. I got those straight from the shoe palace, you feel me? Uh, like some of my fours, like the uh, just just know that half of that is from Goat. I've never purchased a shoe from Stock X. I purchased shoes from Grilled, from OfferUp, and from Sneakers App. But Stock X, I'm yet to purchase a shoe from because you know the prices be a little high. But Goat, man, here are the benefits of Goat. You could buy used shoes. You could buy new shoes. You could sell new shoes. You could sell used shoes, and the prices on there are great man sometimes the new shoes they do sell for a little less on stock x on stock there's more sellers on stock x so you can find better prices on stock x but if you want to go like let's say what can i whip out real quick what can i let's say what came out uh let's bring this out right here let's bring this out here what is this all right here you go pair of fire reds you can't find these on stock x for nothing less than like three four hundred because they're gonna be dead stock on grail you can find these and on offer up you can find these but on goat i guarantee you in your size you go find a nice pair you see mine you got a little chip 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 right here but you can find you a nice pair for i under under 150. you go find you a pair that's wearable you can put on feet that you go out you can wear for under 150 for a shoe that came out when did this come out 20 I don't know, I'm gonna say 2013, 2014. I don't say the date on here. 2013, 2014. How could you go wrong with that, man? Some shoes that came out probably before you was born. Some OGs used that you could put on feet. You go find them. Like I got my OG 13s from GOAT for $100. But my top 10, top five still video, I'm gonna throw that out next, next week. But man, that is my list. You, if y'all got any questions about anything that I say, y'all just make sure you go ahead and ask me. But to run it back, go. You can buy new shoes, old shoes, brand new, stinking old. You can buy them beat up. You can buy them fixed up. They could be re, they could be redone. They could be anything. Stock X is straight dead stock shoes. A big market, lots of variations of prices. You can sell shoes easily, buy shoes easily. Grailed, you could buy anything on there. You could buy clothes, pants, jackets, hats. You could buy jewelry, you could buy anything on there that people post in there that's for your body to be worn. You could buy on there, including shoes and mainly shoes. Offer up, it's like eBay, it's just on the app. And it's a little more, you know what I'm saying, a little more organized. And of course, Nike sneakers up, we all know what that is. But that is my list, man. If you have any questions, make sure you go ahead and comment them down. Y'all tell me what y'all list is. And make sure y'all comment down some apps or something that y'all know about that I didn't say. Put, put, put everybody on, you feel me? Don't be selfish. Don't be selfish. Put everybody on, but hey, man. Welcome to the Brand Case. I'm your host, Keegan Nation. I probably was talking a little fast, but it's good. We got another video coming out.
Thursday, man. I'm going to be telling y'all how y'all can build. Y'all see the collection, man. I'm going to be telling y'all how y'all can build your collection. A nice collection for under however much. For are either going to be under 10000 or quickly or easily or cheaply. However many, man. But, hey, I'm going to get out of here. Ain't going to hold up for too long. Like and subscribe if you're new.